this next one's awesome. Like, super fun to watch. It's actually called po Project Puppetron with Jacob Fisser. If you want to demo it for us, have Almost. at it. Welcome. Hi, everyone. So let's say you took a picture of yourself, like this one, and would like to convert it into a stylized portrait. But if you are like me, you cannot paint very well. So what do you do? Well, Project Puppetron to the rescue. So let's try some moderate stylization first and see how it works. And I think it does. So you can see that the style is nicely transferred while the result still maintains my identity. So let's see how far we can actually push this. And how about this nice colored pencil? Will it work with my face? Yeah, I think it does. So let's push it even farther. And with the Halloween just around the corner, let's see what we can get. Wow. Well, maybe, maybe this is a little bit extreme. So let's see what else can we get. And I really like comics, so I would love to see myself as a comic book character, like, for example, this one. Yeah, I like it. Or. That's interesting. Yes. Perhaps you prefer some other modern art form, like, let's say, a graffiti. So let's see what we can get with this. Yeah, I'm really liking what I see. But you know what? You know what? This, this always looks so much better if you have a handsome model. So let's see what other faces do I have here. OK, yeah. Let's, let's try this guy for a change. I think I've seen him gambling around somewhere. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely much, much better. Wow. So let's stay with the black and white stylization. And let me talk a bit more about all these <laughs> settings that I haven't mentioned yet. <laughs> so as you can see, sometimes the, the, sometimes the stylization is a little bit too exaggerated, and it doesn't really look like you. So if that is what you want, you always have the option to tone the strengths of the stylization down and get the result that you prefer. Oh, wow. Wow. OK, thanks. And this is even more useful if you have a very wild stylization, like, for mm -hmm. example, this one that doesn't even have a human face in it. So let's see what we can get. And <laughs> as I said, you can always go down a little bit so that you would get the human appearance, if that's what you like. Or you can go the other way around and make yourself a Lion King or perhaps Ninja Turtle as well. Ah. Wow. But let's You're not... A thundercat. But let's not stay in the drawing realm only. We can actually go to physical world, too. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> so, so here we have this nice wooden mask. But as, but as you can see, the eyes on the result look much, much like the real eyes, not like the eyes on the mask. But we have implemented this new technology. We call it a checkbox, which, <laughs> which somehow solves exactly this problem. So. Now the illusion. So now the illusion is almost perfect. So let's try some other physical material, like for example this statue, which in fact is a quite a hard case. So let's see what we can get. And keep in mind that this is all computed in real time. Wow. So sick. So we, we have one last trick up our sleeve, and that is that imagine that the sculptor who did this sculpture was a little bit of a prankster. Well, what, what, would, what would he do? I, I guess he would caricaturize this appearance a little bit to get something like this. <laughs> <laughs> or, or perhaps, I don't know, he would just use a hammer and squash the statue a little bit to get something like this. Wow. So as you can see, 
The, this project is a lot of fun, but wouldn't it be even nicer if we could animate these images? And spoiler alert, we can. <laughs> I, I guess that you guys have heard about Character Animator, right? OK. I think I, I saw like a hand or two. So let's switch to Character Animator. Ah! And you can see that it's actually picking what I say. And I, I'm driving this puppet, although the sound is, the ambient sound here is a little bit distracting. And this only took me a couple of minutes to create these scenes with Puppetron. So here I am as a guy from a classical painting, so I can enjoy my outfit from whatever <laughs> century that is. <laughs> or I can, I can turn myself into another engraved illustration. And now I can finally play with all my toys. Jacob, you're the man. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you. It's actually getting the, the, his webcam feed, so it's actually changing based on this his This is real head. time, yeah. It's real time. It's kind of hidden on that yeah, I can behind the time respond, there, but. Oh, yeah, as he's responding. It's, it's happening it. live, so he could do that animation live, be done with it. The animation, yeah, it's being done live. Yes. Wow, that's really impressive. Super cool. I don't know. I, I can't get enough of it. Wow. I, Thank you so much. I was a thundercat there for a little you bit. You were a thundercat. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jacob. Very cool.